Hi everybody, you are watching the tutorials. My name is Alex and in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to create this geometric logo in Gravity Designer. So let's start with a new document. I have already had Y1 and uh, first of all I want to cover it with a dark rectangle. Uh, in my case it's black rectangle and I hold this uh, reference as a placeholder for my shared style. So let's start with the uh, grid. I want to introduce the grid, locate the document panel, note that I am working on the 100%, 150% zoom. So uh, locate the document panel and find, tune your grid on 10 pixels on 10 pixels is exactly what I want. Next grab the polygon tool and holding shift holding alt create a polygon, put it on one side. I want to give this polygon a uh, 200 pixels width exactly so you need to go to the uh, transform panel and uh, make sure that your link is here so you are keeping the ratio between heights and widths and provide the 200 pixels value to the width field now let's position it exactly on one side of my grid so make sure that it's exactly on this side of the grid and uh, I, ne I need to create the duplicate by holding shift, go holding alt or shift and option on your Mac and dragging it to the left to exactly 40 pixels. So I need exactly 40 pixels. Gravity Designer would help you with this task. Uh, now I want to select both of them. You see both of them selected and I am particularly interested on this uh, Non-overlapping shape on my right. So in order to obtain it go to the boolean shape operator click subtract So we have this kind of chevron shape and uh, what I need to do is to uh, Convert it to pass Control shift P command shift P to convert it to pass You can also go to the modify path convert to pass here now let's create a duplicate again uh, doing the same operation. I want to drag it to the left on 40 pixels. We have two uh, chevrons. Uh, select both of them. Control G, Control G, Command G to make the group. And now I need to create a duplicate. Control Shift D, Command Shift D to create the duplicate of this group. And I want to flip it horizontally using my tools panel. Now I want to allocate my duplicate. In order to do this go to the view, view mode, outline view, make sure that uh, your inner chevrons create this kind of Renault style shape. You see it here. So they are overlapping completely with each other and create this rhombus hole. Rhombus hole. Uh, let's leave the outline view. Go to the full view. I want to ungroup both of them. Control Shift G, Command Shift G to ungroup. So select both of them and ungroup. And I want to um, give the color to uh, my final element. So I want to select the inner part, inner chevron without a chevron or opposite group and go and change the color. So let's uh, introduce this red. Uh, this is simplify our task because next uh, step is to grab the rectangle and combine these two guys with the color. You see I just want to combine uh, this inner and outer uh, chevrons the height of this rectangle should reach this rhombus angle. In my case, it's 35.2 pixels. Make sure that you are not snapping to the grid in this situation. Go to this magnet link and deselect the snap to grid option. Uh, now let's provide the same reddish color. I want to make the duplicate, place it like this and provide the whitish color. So far so good, it's nice. Uh, let's uh, combine this rectangle with the outer chevrons by going to the, by selecting them both and going to the match pool and shape operator. Do the same here. Uh, select this post guys match. And now I want to allocate my uh, gradient color. So um, with the top link, I have the lightish 
color so let me go to the shared style light and uh, then go to the share style inner light you see it here and um, let's do the, the opposite here so inner dark and uh, outer dark here so let's go to outer dark here you see i need to arrange the uh, gradient properly so let's go to the fill i want to change the direction of this gradient a little bit so so far so good this is how you can create this wonderful logo in gravity designer i hope you enjoyed the tutorial if you have any questions put your uh, questions into the comments form thank you for watching enjoy your day